actually trying to look for my mom because I've never saw her before. And I want to see what's her main problem so I can try to help her out. Help her out with it. So she can move on with her life. Okay. Let me see. I think she's tall. Black. Has braids. And pretty nice. Or she looks different. I guess wrong. I only know that that she would take it. She was doing the wrong things in her life. I think everything that I know, I have talked to him about at one point or another. I know that when I met Justin. Um, approximately five years ago when he was uh, five years old uh, he had this understanding that his parents were deceased and that came to my attention when we were driving down the highway one day and he indicated to me um, as we passed the cemetery he, he, he questioned that he said well what's that um, what's that over there and I told him, I said, that's a cemetery. He said, well, what's a cemetery? And I said, Justin, a cemetery is where we bury people who pass away, people who have died. And he looked up at me. He said, well, that's where my parents are buried. And I said, well, who told you that? And he, he said, my foster parents. And um, at that time, I was aware that his, his mom was alive as, as well as his father. Um, and, uh, you know, after a few moments of thought, I told him, I said, well, you know, you don't have the right information. Um, you know, your, your parents are alive. And uh, with that, uh, you know, we started to have uh, communication uh, and, t and we started to talk about um, his situation and how it came to be that he was separated from his family and was in a foster home. Inward block. Inward block. Inward block. Inward block. What it means for Justin, just an opportunity to actually feel like he is a part of his surroundings. Because a lot of people have a mother and this and that and stuff. He's probably the only one that doesn't have that. So that to know that he has it is going to give him uh, an advantage. And, and you, you can actually see his development even more so. Because that's probably what he misses most of all in his life, is to have something like that. Maybe that's what he needs. So, so my plan now is to uh, make a trip over to her house uh, to speak with her, um, see uh, what kind of physical condition she is in ask her um, if she wants to, to, to meet with Justin and um, make a deci decision at that point whether it's a good thing or it's a bad thing. I'm not going to tell him about the information I found out today because I'm concerned that uh, if she doesn't want to see him that that could really be um, a difficult thing for him to handle. So I'm going to uh, first meet with her and talk to her, hopefully. She lets me in the door and uh, see if, if she's willing to uh, work with me in, in setting up a visit. Going 106 Union 106 Street. 106 Union Street, Jersey City. We're going to go check out Justin's mom. We're going to interview Justin's mom. Is that cool? You know her name? Uh, her name is Amitria Wiggins. Amitria. That's cute. And he's got uh, he's got the sister Tahara who's uh, 16 or so, 17. Wow. He's got a brother Bryce Seen, who's about 15. He's got another brother I, I didn't get the name. I think it's Reggie Reginald or something like that. He's 21. And uh, oh yeah, big family. Well, you know, apparently Tahara lives with the mom, 16 year old. So I think she's 16, 17. I'm not for sure. Everybody else young enough? So let's go see what we find. How long have she not seen her son? She's never seen him as far as I know. She never seen her son? I think 
he was taken away at birth, but I don't know for sure that's what they told me. Wow. She's gonna be shocked. Extremely shocked. She probably she's probably gonna hesitate to make a decision. Well, well if she even lets us in, you know what I mean? I think she will. I think she's uh, I think she'll let us in because if the sixteen year old is staying with her, that means she's better than where she, you know where she is now than where she was before. Where are you going? Over here, we'll go to 106 right over here. So we're not gonna really get it. Ring those bells there, see, see what happens when you ring those. Not getting there, right? Okay. Try those buttons there, try again. Which one here? Just tell, we're just trying to find a meter of Wigan. Right. Get some like that. Get another two. Oh, you missed it, bro. Try it again. Number three. Is that apartment number three? Yeah. Okay. Is there is there a Mitra Wiggins there? Hi, this is Ray. I'm looking for a Mitra Wiggins. Wiggins. A Mitra? We're here on behalf of her son. Are you a Mitra Wiggins? We're, we're here on behalf of her son. What did the person look like that was in the building? Well, she was in uh, mid 40s. Um, she was like maybe 5'9, 5'8, 5'9, mid 40s. And, um, you know, she's Afro American. And, um, she claims that um, she had moved there a month, a month ago. And uh, someone else went in there. Asking for Wiggins for some reason. Asking for her. So uh, we don't really know at the present time. But we have another address here. Don't we have another address that we can actually go to and find out? 125 Wade Street? Let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's, let's give it a shot and see what we can do. But uh, this is exciting to find out uh, this guy's mom. No, it's Mr. Washington. Washington. James Washington. Uh -huh. James, and you have a you have a, a daughter with Tahara, yeah. and Tahara is my son's, uh, well, you know, my adopted son's sister. Okay. He actually met her a few years ago, about five years ago. We took him to a restaurant, and uh, we're trying to find Tahara because when we find Tahara, we find the mom. Yeah. You, you have any idea where they might be? Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, listen, we um, we're gonna see um. Dimitri's sister? Yeah. Dimitri's sister? Dimitri, yeah. Dimitri's sister. Thank you, man. I'll go, what's up? Man? Well, go up. Okay, Make it right. Okay, yeah. All right. Thank you, James. All right, bye. Kimani? Yeah. Which one's Kimani? Oh, Kimani is not here. Oh, he want to piss. Oh, we look a mess. This is just his mom. We look a mess. This is just his mom. This is brother. His little brother. You're a Mitra? Mm-hmm. You're a Mitra. <laughs> we found you. Wow. <laughs> Say hi. How wow. You How's he doing? How's he doing? He's doing well. For real, my well, sister. I, I adopted him. I adopted he's him. Got your, he's got your high cheekbones and your you eyes. You got to see his father. Get out. My name's Ray, I got How you doing when you did? Oh, you are adopted. Thank you. Thank you. He's a good kid. Thank you. This is oh, wait, I want to stop. Boy, you look at Kwani. Wow. Look at Kwani. He looked just like Larry. Yes, he does. This is, this is last year's picture. Oh, my goodness. Who's everybody here? Because he's going to be watching this. Okay, Tahir Rain here. This is Shamira. He knows Shamira. I don't know if he remembers This is his cousin. He doesn't really remember it. Tamika. I'm Tamika, his own. He's just his new brother. We paint him. Y'all got excuse us. Yeah, I just had him four months What's ago. His name? This is new Dazik. brother. Dazik. Mm -hmm. What's up, Dazik? How are you? Tahir Rain here. Baisim. He's Baisim, right? He's not here either. He's somewhere. I don't know where he's at. He's somewhere. I can give you my phone number. Okay. Give me a pen, Mika. Wow. Oh. You found him, huh? Wow, well, isn't that wonderful? I know because they told me I came on Union. But I moved to um, Randall. Who called? That lady called right. you? No, um. James. Like, she still lives here. No. He I'm, so I'm taping everything because I, I, I was, we weren't sure what we were fine, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I figured, well, maybe if I just get a glimpse yeah. of somebody, I'll tape it. This guy has to tape it. He looks just like his father. 
don't look nothing like me. Him and Tahira has the same father. Thank you. Come on. Well, you talk for I don't know what to say. You just told him to say, talk to the camera is your son. Tell him you miss him. He wants him. to know. He wants to know. Why um, you gave him up? He wants to know a lot. I don't know if you're ready to talk about that. Just look forward to seeing him. At least That's time. Right. I am looking forward to seeing you. I'm looking forward to seeing your new brother for four months. Your sister Tahira and your brother Basin. Let's get another picture of the babies. Okay. I don't know if we got a close up. That's his little brother. Yeah. Oh, he's oh there he go. Oh, he's throwing up on Yeah, that. milk. In the summertime. That's, that's his new brother. No, that's the chocolate one. That's the only one in the family, chocolate. Now, who's this? Introduce him. This is Dazik. That's Come your here. brother. This is your little brother. See? Say hi, Stoka. Now, he met Tahara. He met Tahara. Yeah. We had dinner one time. And then, so there's Tahara, there's Bai Mm-hmm. And there's Dazik. And there's Dazik. Yep, that's it. Okay. Who was Reggie? That's somebody has said. Reginald, that's yeah. my brother. That's your brother. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll be seeing you very soon. Okay. Love you, and I'm so sorry. I'm really so sorry, but at the time, I thought it was best for you to be raised by them. And I explain it to you one day when you get older. I will explain it to you. I want to put this special videotape on for you. Okay, Ma, everybody makes mistakes. 